Well, I'd like to take this opportunity to uh, congratulate all the Hall of Fame inductees from 2020 and 2021 who are being recognized tonight. It's certainly humbling to be associated with such a talented group of uh, athletes and coaches. I'd also like to thank the um, Hall of Fame Selection Committee for considering me for this honor. I have to admit, I'm a bit fortunate that they never saw me play golf. Um, I'd like to remember and also thank the coaches we had for that 1970 season. Of course, the legendary Mr. Bill Rico, uh, but also Joe Bennis and, and Conrad Pekorski, good men and great mentors all. And they certainly kept the game of high school football in perspective. Uh, on a brief serious note, I'd like to remember all of our teammates that have died over the years, but specifically I'd like to remember uh, Mark Huscroft and uh, Tom Thomas, both teammates but also childhood friends from way back and they've, they've passed away over the past 10 years. Um, I've been asked, you know, over time, what is it about football that I like the most? And what first comes to mind is the fact that it's the consummate team sport, um, be it offense, defense, uh, special teams. Every player has a role, every player is important, and every player contributes to, to the success of the team. Uh, Bill was our captain, who, as Gary said, led by example. Bill didn't say much, but when he said something, people listened. And I'll tell you, Jerry was our teammates, and Jerry had great teams here and great individuals. I will guarantee you that on any one of Jerry's teams, Bill Wino would have been a, a contributing member. So congratulations, Dr. Wino. It's great to be your teammate, long overdue. Thank you. It, it, it is overdue. And uh, you know, we sometimes forget what happened 50 years ago. I mean, you and I don't. <laughs> but, uh, but, but some people not only for, don't for, forget it, they don't even know it in the first place. Yeah. Bill Rico brought Bill Wino to that position for a reason. And it was a great selection. Um, Bill brought us together. Well, maybe we were already together, but you know what he did? He kept us together. He kept us fighting. I mean, we, we won, obviously, 10 games, the first undefeated team in the history of the school. Um, but, and we had some ones where we ran away with it early, but there were a couple of tight ones. And Bill always kept us together, be it in the huddle, on the sidelines, in the locker room, even on the bus. Yeah, and again, thinking back, um, I mean, I'm always proud that we had the first undefeated team. I mean, back then they didn't have uh, state playoffs or state championships. Um, but the enjoyment of the game and just, my memory is just that we had fun. And, you know, the guys that we played with, like I said, uh, no clicks, no small groups. Um, I mean, we took the game seriously, we practiced hard. And, and that's where I think the memory of just having a fun time, a great time, enjoying the coaches uh, who were dedicated, um, why that means more to me than actually the 10-0 uh, season. It was, it was special, uh, and, and it was special to be part of something brand new. Uh, it was special creating a, a brand, if you would say, a brand of excellence in academics, and a brand of excellence in athletics, and, and we were part of that. Yeah, I'm going to say this right now, there's a old movie called Stand By Me, and Richard Dreyfuss at the end of it, he says, you know, in the years after that, I never had friends like I had when I was 12. And I think for this group of guys here tonight, we all think the same way. We go back a long way, and to still have brothers like this, and to show up for a night like this is pretty special. You know, Bill Wino was a hell of a football player. He really was. He was tough. He had great hands. He was quick. And he was smart. And from seventh grade through twelfth grade, the two years at Holy Family and the four years here at Walsh, the group of us played a total of 52 football games. We lost three times. Now, I'm making fun of the selection committee for the Hall of Fame, but when you got something like that and the best guy, one of the best guys on the team, takes 50 years to get in the Hall of Fame, I might go back and recalculate how we do things. Just kidding, you know. It's an amazing feat when you look back, but that was never important to any of us. It certainly wasn't important to Bill. You know, Bill was a quiet leader. He was a bad dude on the field. He always smiled, never said anything, and you just didn't really notice him. 
Um, well, you know, what's it like, what's it mean to be a, a Walsh Jesuit warrior? I think a lot of it goes back to the, you know, the, the Jesuit, um, you know, men and women for others and, uh, and lifelong learning. I just think it, it's an attitude when you're playing a sport, whether you're doing academics or you're doing extracurriculars, um, you just try to put everything into it that you can for yourself, but also for uh, the people around you and for the greater uh, Walsh community. This guy went on to college, became a doctor, never left here, and has given back to this community ever since. And this is a night that, for him and for all of us, is a special time. His family's here tonight, and they're proud. And the ones that can't be here who have better seats than we do upstairs, they're smiling. You know, and this school should be very proud and very happy to have a guy like this as part of its graduated class. I know the class is excited for you, Bill, because you meant a lot to all of us. And the football team. Football team will always remember you, man. Always. You know, then Bill gave up football to, to become a doctor. It's worked out well for him. So. And he's been a phenomenal physician. He's helped so many. But that willingness to help people, to do things for people, and to care for people, it started right here. Yeah. It started here under Bill Rico, and uh, it's followed Bill Wino all his life and put him in a Hall of Fame well-deserved. Yeah. So. Bill, congratulations. You join your teammates Alex McClellan, Rick, Rick Pop, Tom Lipinski, and Dan Puppetone, so congratulations. I just want to say thank you from all of us. This is your night. You stand tall. You walk proud tonight. You deserve it. Love you, man.